Now let's see, uh, now that we um, we increase the we have the big font size. Now let's see how big it is. Is it too big enough for you to see? So hashtag hashtag include in in hashtag include uh, I O stream I O S T R E A M. So include I O stream. So I'm done with the first line. Now I'm gonna write the second line using. Using a namespace std. Now I need a um, semicolon. Hopefully, this guy has a semicolon. Thank God it has semicolon. Now I'm going to write the function now int main. Uh, int. Okay, I'm, I'm done with the int and then I'm going to write main int main and i'm going to write the parenthesis hopefully this guy has a parenthesis thank god it does okay now i'm going to write the curly braces hopefully this one has curly braces okay so what are we going to write first we're going to write as i told you we're going to write um the uh the data type so we're going to use double so the double the so double is the variable and the name of the variable is m1 M1 is equal to, we're going to initialize it to 0 as always. And then double. Double. M2. M2 is for the mass 2 of the elevator. Elevator has two mass, two unknown. One is mass 1, 1200 kilogram, and other one is mass 2, 920 kilogram. So we have to, uh, we have to put that so that later on, when we are ready, we can tell the computer that mass one is twelve hundred and mass two is nine twenty. So we're done with this one. Now we have to tell computer that take the information from me. So the computer gonna take the information for me in this way. So we're gonna write. We have to write count. Count less than less than. Count. Now we're gonna do uh, less than less than, and then we're gonna write uh, the the quotation mark. Hopefully we have the quotation mark. This is uh, uh, oh, all right. I saw the quotation mark. Okay, so I'm gonna write enter. So enter enter M one. M one means it tells the computer. Uh, all right, ask for M one, and then user will give M one. All right. So uh, then I'm done with this, so I'm gonna leave some space and I'm gonna put a colon. And um, make sure I have everything right here, colon and everything right here. And then I'm gonna put less than less than again. So less than less than. All right, so I'm gonna write end them. End them is end line, okay? I'm gonna write end them. Um, so I'm gonna put the semicolon again, I'm looking for the semicolon. So you see that? Now I have almost done. Now I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I on the computer. If you put the, if you put the this console, you're gonna put that. This is called console. You're gonna put the input on the console. So once you put the input on the console, the computer has to suck it up. Computer has to suck it up. So then you're gonna write a code that tells computer go suck it up. Uh, sin uh, greater than greater than. And then we're gonna write M1 M1 and then semicolon. Alright. So now I'm gonna write the count again and this time count for M2. So I'm gonna write count count and then I'm gonna get to write less than less than uh, less than less than and then I'm gonna write a semicolon of course. Uh, semicolon, so let's go right to semicolon. Where is the semicolon? Semicolon is right here. Um, no, I'm not gonna write semicolon. Yeah, I'm gonna write double quotation. In the double quotation, I'm gonna write enter M2. Enter M2. M2. So once I write enter M2 and then I put the colon and then I'm done and then I'm gonna write um, less than less than again, less than less than, and I'm gonna write end them. All right, so now 
and uh, what did they do wrong? Count, enter M2, I don't know, nothing wrong. All right, so now I'm gonna write how to write scene for M2. So scene greater than, greater than, greater than. All right, I'm gonna write M2, so M2. Lots of hard work here, so M2. So now I'm gonna write the, uh, I'm gonna write the equation that uh, a equal to g m1 minus m2 over m plus m2. So elevator formula. So you're gonna write elevator formula. So we make sure we write double, double, and then uh, we wanna find the acceleration of the elevator. So you're gonna better write acceleration, and then we have to write the equal sign, equal sign, and then uh, we're gonna write 9.8 because acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. 9.8. Hopefully this is point, guys. Uh, 9.8, and then we're gonna write parentheses, and then we're gonna write m1 minus m2, m1 minus. We're gonna write m. We're gonna write two m2, and then of course we're gonna write uh, divide sign, and then of course parentheses again. Then m1 plus m2, m1 plus. Uh, plus, uh, looking for plus sign, plus M2, M2. Okay, so once we have that, we must have a semicolon at the end. So this is the formula. There is something missing. I know that's a uh, uh, multiplication sign. Uh, what did I do wrong? So I'm going to put it up. Uh, what did I do? Uh, I, I took that uh, off. Okay, now I'm ready to write the final statement, and that is. Uh, and that is count. Uh, count. Uh, so now I'm going to write count. Count less than, less than, uh, less than, less than. And I'm going to write uh, elevator acceleration is elevator acceleration. And then I'm gonna leave some space. And I'm gonna put a colon, and I'm gonna put less than less than. Uh, and then I'm gonna finally write. Oh, I have to put a quotation. Don't forget your quotation because this is a string. So quotation, uh, quotation, quotation. And then I'm gonna write a. This a. This this little a over here. So a. All right, so I'm gonna write uh, less than, less than, uh, less than, less than, so less than, less than, and I'm gonna finally write, and, uh, and, uh, and then I'm gonna write semicolon, uh, semicolon, and I'm done. So now we're gonna run it. So let's see what happens. You can write one more uh, line, but you don't have to return zero. Return zero. Return zero semicolon. Okay, all right. The return zero semicolon means I'm end. I'm I'm done with the coding. Now we gonna run it. So let's run it. Let's see what happened. Run. Yep. It says enter M one. So M one is twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. All right. Now I'm gonna put uh, enter. And M two. Voila. M two is what. M2 is 920. Alright, now the computer has the input. Now remember I wrote sin. I wrote sin. Now if I put the enter, computer will suck up this and computer will gonna use this A equal to computer will use this A equal to M1 minus M2 over M1 plus M2 times G to give me the acceleration. So let's do that. Elevator acceleration is 1.29434. This is a magic, guys. So um, hopefully you understood it. Hopefully you fall in love with uh, uh, computer science. Uh, but uh, most importantly, hopefully you fall in love with physics because physics is everything. Physics can give you the power of God. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.